This morning, we are focusing on some of the amazing places in Squirrel Hill. From restaurants to shops, it's one neighborhood that has a lot to offer. And here with some of her top picks and Yelper's top picks is Rachel Carlson, community manager of Yelp Pittsburgh. Good morning. Morning. I love this. I know we've focused on a couple other neighborhoods in the past, and, and really, if you live in this community or want to visit this community, it's a great way to kind of experience it. And everything. I would say it's a great time to support Squirrel Hill. They've been through a lot, mm -hmm. and it is such a great neighborhood to go and discover. Get out of your own little neighborhood, come over to Squirrel Hill, and support. And honestly, I went through this entire list. I don't know if any neighborhood has more four- and five-star places. Some of these places have perfect ratings. It's insane but also awesome well the first place that I want to talk about is yes fantastic. I got the party started early you really did yes. you really did and and this place has such a wonderful vibe inside and that's what Yelpers say too so Hidden Harbor in Squirrel Hill has this great vibe so as soon as you walk in you are not in Pittsburgh anymore you're on the beach you have your tropical drink your rum your uh, delicious food and you're ready to party look how beautiful these drinks are honestly the decor inside alone brings so you to a they tropical island. even got this huge tiki man. I'm not, I know I'm not saying the right word, but they have this huge guy that they had hand carved and shipped here right in the center of it. And then this mug actually is uh, what they have in the actual restaurant too. This is so how your drinks are served. I love this too. And what you can do is you can buy these mugs too. And I love the fact that they also sell them and they have a line they say all the time for these mug releases. It's like a culture. Well, and a little bit of food too. Yes, so the passion fruit cheesecake is delicious. So Jamilka is the chef there. She's been around in Pittsburgh for a while and I love to support women chefs. She is top notch and so you can get snacks with these boozy drinks. The one drink has six rums in it. Well I have to mention too as much as I know this place I also know the business next door which is also owned by independent, the independent yes. brewing. So with lots of beer. Great, great little corner there with yes. two businesses. Okay moving on you have to say the name of this restaurant. Waffalonia. Waffalonia. Uh, yeah I okay. have to say two things correctly. So Waffalonia has Liège waffles. Liège waffles. Yes, I feel very cultured, very French. <laughs> so they actually serve these Belgian waffles. And what I love is that they're bringing a little bit of Belgium here to the States. And so these Liège waffles, they have Look these. beautiful. I know. It's beautiful. It's delicious. They have Nutella underneath with banana, with strawberry. So you can make your own or you can have this creation is actually the Charleroi. So, you know, Charleroi in Pittsburgh. Right. They actually have a Charleroi in Belgium, too. So it's named after Belgian cities, and you can make your own, like I said. And then they import these sugar, pearlized sugar crystals, and so it makes the um, crust crispy, and then the inside is soft. I know, you just You can't in. keep talking about this without me taking a I bite know, now. I, I know. know. Okay. So and they also have milkshakes, so you can get your waffle okay. and your milkshake to go. This little carton, you can get four to go um, Liège waffles. And then this is oh, a s'more. So, so Dave and Andy's ice cream makes specific ice cream for them. Mm -hmm. So they can, you can get ice cream on top of the waffle. And why wouldn't you? And a milkshake. So and whatever you want. Can I try this? Of course. And what kind it's of a s'mores this? milkshake. <laughs> I know. It's just like piling on. When in Rome, or when mm. in Belgium, I should say, really. When in Belgium. Yes. Okay, moving on. We have some delicious looking breads and pastries. Where is this from? So this is from Five Points. So perfect five star rating. The Yelpers rave about how the breads here are just incredible. So they start 20 hours before they start this bread making process and they have a ton of different breads to choose from as well as pastries. So one thing that Yelpers always say is to get in early because stuff runs out fast. You can obviously see by these beautiful breads so that nice. they're also beautiful and delicious. Love it. I love it. And I know that you love your tea. I know. I'm a total tea nerd. So I love this. So this place actually was Margaret's Tea Emporium. They changed over to Blue Monkey in the past year. But they have everything a tea lover could ever want and more. Over 200 different loose leaf teas. I love um, this little mug here. So you can get different uh, tea accessories too. So it's not just tea, but it's tea accessories. Yeah, so you'll see cute. the little cat. And it has the loose leaf tea inside. Um, so we're going with the cat theme, obviously, today, too. <laughs> and if you smell this, this is the caramel. Ooh. And it has little caramel pieces inside. So you can get any of these loose leaf teas to buy. You can buy it by the pound. You can buy it by the ounce. So you can get stock up. 
And then I love this too. I don't know. It's so beautiful. It's um, a flowering tea. So you pop this little pellet into the water and it blossoms. Wow. So this is a nice thing to maybe take out at a party or give as a gift too because it's Really beautiful. Yes. Okay, I am a sucker for Greek food, I have to tell you. I think Greek food is so delicious. It is so. so with Greek gourmet, they have so many different flavors of hummus. You honestly can't go wrong. You could find a flavor of hummus for everybody, honestly. And so with their storefront, they sell this hummus. They have gyros, I'm going to say it correctly too, we, we can't gyros, say gyros, 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 gyros. Right. <laughs> um, any kind of Greek food you want, they have a little deli there. And then they also sell these hummuses, not only in their store, but in Whole Foods too. So I like that they can support local there. I want to like open this up oh, here. How much kind is this? So this one is the honey habanero. Ooh. I know. And I think that, like I said, you can go from hot, you can go from uh, a mild one. Yeah, like the garlic. So you kind of mentioned that this is a grab and go. Is there? It's a grab there? and go. There's a couple different seats, but it's more of a grab and go place. So okay, let me smell this. I know. Ooh. Yeah. So there's spicy. really one for everyone. Okay. I know. Quick bite. And you can get also these chips there too. Mmm. That is delicious. My favorite is the buffalo. And they're also vegan and vegetarian, too. That has a nice kick to it. I know. It's a nice Very kick in good. the morning, too. So lots of great places to discover in Squirrel Hill. I love what you bring us every week, so thank you so much. Of course, thank you. And to find your new favorite spot in your neighborhood, you can visit Yelp Pittsburgh. We'll have a link posted at kdk.com slash PTL.